Well, we've got George here from Rides in the Storm, and he's going to explain, if I pan over here, look at these lovely modules here. So uh, he's going to run us through them. Yeah, nice to have you here. And, uh, let me have to show you the, the complete sim floors. All the sections are included with a lot of stuff. So we have the two VCOs, discrete VCOs. So everything is built with transistors and oh, wow. SMD parts. So there are no dedicated chips for it. This it's great. We have a complete mixer, we have remodulation, we have a noise, we have a, a, um, a wave folder for the triangle. Oh, we have yeah. three different uh, sub octaves. We can change also the waveform. You can add here. We have multiple envelopes with trigger outs. We have two LFOs going into the outer rate, also trackable and can feed into the mixer and use that another VCO with, with a wave shape barrier. So they offer pulse file moderation, sample and hold or noise, and um, triangle saw and ramp. The first uh, LFO is the triangle with, uh, LFO only and uh, deals with the PVM. From oscillator one, oh, well, yeah. and the PVM of and the shape of the oscillator two. You have also a switch to, to select which one you want to modulate. So, so you basically you've got a whole synth voice with everything in there. You, synth so you got you got your filters, LFOs, yes. your oscillators. Oh, that's that's fantastic. That's fantastic. Yeah. And uh, you have in and out for each session, individual or individual CV in, CV out of all, all the sections of LFO, resetable LFOs, the sync function for the ACOs also. Yeah, this is the this model. And then you've got uh, what what, what are the single models like here, this is the new Bog BOC, big oscillator. There are kind of similar to the first oscillator here, but offer much more like four sub oscillators, also independent pulse vibration and pulse switch for the subs. We have a quad, uh, you see a fifth and a, a fourth. Oh, okay, yeah. Um, and a one octave and two octave below with three selectable waveforms and, and CV control wave folder, CV control soft sync here, really interesting. And also a low um, LFO mode, 10 outputs, a really good sine wave out, and you can go into the mixer, fit everything together, and you'll have a kind of a additive synthesis. Or oh, okay. Like what, what's this one in the middle here? This, this, this nice little screen there. That's the new sequencer. With oh, okay, it's cool. A, it's a channel sequencer. Also, a MIDI interface, so you can choose to use an internal sequencer or Use it as a media interface from outside with yeah, USB yeah. or with a cable uh, connection. Um, it has a lot of functionality, but it's not finished now. But you can see so we have re trigger, we have glide, we have a, a direction of the play, we have a, a probability, swings, condensation, a lot of different stuff. And a lot of knobs to they have an analog feeling. Yeah, yeah. And there's no menu drive, in just one click, you go to the next parameter you want. Cool. Um, yeah, that's yeah, awesome. I think that is the news for now. The rest we made before. And cool. This comes out in summer, this comes out in the next two months, and this comes out next month. Awesome. Oh, well, we'll put a link into your website and that. Yeah, it would be great. I'll, I'll, and uh, we'll feature you on the show as well. Cool. Cool. Well, thank you very much. There we go. Cheers. Thank you very much. Thanks.